Can you explain your horse tweet, please? Yeah, anyway, so listen. Uh, last night, I'm supposed to go to uh, a friend's birthday party, and instead I chose the alternative. After KBBQ and ice cream, I was like, you know, I'm exhausted. We've done too much here. Too much energy has been exerted. Went back home and watched One Piece and fell asleep. Okay? Unsurprising to no, nobody. Everybody knew that that was what was going to happen. Uh, sorry, I'm a bad friend, but also at the same time, I'm on the Alabasta arc, and that shit is compelling. Okay? On the one hand, you have a friend's birthday. Okay? On the other hand, you have the Alabasta arc waiting. You know, what's going to happen? Do we have cloud? Do we have rain clouds? Do, what, what will be the reason why those rain clouds are problematic? Why would the world government ban them? You know, that's sort of, these are questions that were, that were percolating, okay? These were questions that were on my mind, and I needed to understand. So that's what I did instead. And, uh, and then I fell asleep. So then I woke up, and I watched more of it this morning. I'm deep in that arc right now. It's pretty fucking sick. What the fuck? What the fuck is this? Why did you do this to me? This is so nasty. Why would you do such a thing? Just fucked up. Um, when you speak Turkish with English conjugates, I convince myself I'm learning Turkish. Yeah, you're not. Okay, 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 okay. Listen, what is this? Hassan have gave an inspirational speech. the fuck was that dude these four guys hanging out having drinks and they all begin to pass out because they all roofied each other <laughs> we are all canceled bro these are the worst dudes they are the worst goobers on the fucking planet it is so funny anyway um we'll talk about all this shit hassan needs more strip waffles in his life no i don't man no i don't no i don't no i don't no i don't i don't need more strip and waffles in my life because I don't need more desserts and pastries in my life. I'm trying to fucking keep this shit going. I'm kind of trying to keep this shit tight. If I, I haven't cut, I haven't broken uh, past the 250 barrier again in a long ass time now. I've just been sitting on fucking 250, 250 pounds. Oh, by the way, uh, hey, guess what, uh, dumbasses? Once again, I'm the fucking, I'm the goat at calling this shit. Uh, grifter fucking Ollie London has now transitioned into the final grift arc, which is, uh, you know, when when you uh, reject your trans identity, become a detransitioner, and follow Jesus. There it is. It came. It came to be once again. If there's one thing, if there's one thing, I'm always fucking solid on. It is shit like this. Okay, I was thinking about this in the shower earlier this morning, while I was. Uh, earlier this morning, while I was taking a shower, I was thinking about it, and there were so many motherfuckers that never passed the smell test that would say I'm a fucking fake leftist. Now, Ollie London is not one of those people, obviously. That person was never like a, never like a leftist or anything like that, but there were some people who were like, ah, we should be respectful or whatever. But I was in the shower thinking about it, like Jimmy Dore, so many of these like MAGA communists, so many of these motherfuckers. I've said time and time again, Hassan, or like all the supposed leftist, uh, you know, Brooklyn podcasters that uh, say that I'm like a fake, a phony, you know, fake leftist because I have a house. Miguel Gale, thank you for the tank of the subs. Um, all these people have very openly shown their fucking asses. You know what I mean? They have very openly, time and time again, shown twin we both think about jimmy in the shower you don't think about yeah i think about jimmy Dore in the shower sometimes okay it's just a shower thought thing i don't know what it is but so many of these fucking grifters that were like yo it sounds a fake leftist he sucks all these fucking you know why weren't you at the medicare for all rallies uh, guys you know what i mean they've all fucking straight up turned out to be grifters how crazy turned out to be crazy weirdos how wild Almost feels like, you know, if there's one thing that I'm consistent on, I just help you avoid the cranks if you listen to me. Okay? That's it. The general strike Andes, exactly. How are you going after Marxist Leninists? You've repeatedly proven that you're a neo-revisionist who claims to play one game but abandons the proletariat to play a different one. 
<laughs> yes. Yes. Lennon had no answer for that. You're right. Wrote so many books, but not a single book on how uh, lying to your fucking audience about playing God of War and then refusing to play God of War is, is anti-proletarian behavior. You never explained your horse tweet. Yeah, okay, here's the, here's the horse tweet for those of you who don't know. I don't even know what it was. I saw a TikTok, and there was like a little baby horse on it, and it just reminded me that, yes, I think horses are one of the few animals where the baby's ugly as fuck. I don't think that's crazy. Bi-monthly refill day? What? There is no fucking way this is serious, right? This guy is memeing. Yeah, this guy's probably joking, dude. I don't believe that. That's pretty funny. That My horse tweet was, was solid. I'm a horse girl. You guys know this already. You literally know I'm a horse girl. And I think I'm right. Horse babies are weird. Like, they're weird looking. Horses are beautiful, majestic. They're like big dogs. I love them. One of my favorite animals of all time. Okay? Horse babies, though, not great. Kind of ugly. Yes, we will do SNL Sunday for Dave Chappelle. Okay. Like, puppies are so fucking cute. Kittens, incredibly cute. Horse kittens, not as cute. I live in the same province as that guy. The Aunt Jemima tweet is real. Wait, really? Really? 